Hey man, it's Nigma. The Riddler? What? No, it's Enigma's Light. We did a collaboration together back at Grape City Con a couple years ago. Oh, right, 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 right. My very first collaboration with another content creator. You know, it just seemed like only yesterday where I had a bunch of weirdos in masks uh, stalking me around at local conventions asking me to review things for them. Well, history has a funny way of repeating itself. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, a few months back, you held another one of your Twitter reporters to vote for to review in a future episode? Yeah? And the majority voted on my film, Bad Moon Rising. And your point being? When are you gonna review my movie? Look man, I'm over 2,000 miles away from California right now. It's not like I could just easily drop up my camera, set it all up, and just review something right on the spot while I'm on vacation. It's, it's uh, hard, hard work, you know, in the life of an internet critic, man. Oh yeah, hard work indeed. What kind of reviewer are you, Noah Antwiller? Ouch, alright, that's a low blow right there, man. You know what? Alright, 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 alright. Alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna get right into it because... Alright, let's get right into it because I am a man of my word and I will do this. Vacation or no vacation. Bad Moon Rising is the short film written and directed by aspiring filmmaker Enigma's Light. The film's plot details two teens who go on a memorial site to honor their lost friend that was lost in an accident about a year ago. However, there is more than meets the eye to what really happened that night. Hmm, sounds like we got ourselves a mystery on our hands. Alrighty then, let's fulfill another Twitter request for another short film, this is Bad Moon Rising. The movie begins with our cameraman Carlos, who is shooting a documentary on their deceased condiment friend Sirach, who passed away in the woods last year. He is joined by his friend Jesus, who talks about Sirach, and goes over a multitude of times that he feels responsible and how it was all his fault. I ruined it all. I could have saved him, damn it. Now he'll never be able to do that, because of me. Yeah, I get it. And here I thought I wasn't going to use that clip twice in the same month. So the two amigos drive to the local park and walk into the woods where Jesus last saw Sirach. Jesus hesitates for a moment and wonders if Sirach would ever forgive him for letting him down. But after Carlos gives him a quick pep talk, they make their way over to the creek where Carlos asks Jesus about that tragic night. Carlos recounts hearing a strange noise. When we heard a noise, I ran over there. Sirach said he just wanted to go check it out. Hey, what's up guys? It's Garrus here. Sirach goes into the woods to investigate, he screams, and Carlos ran back to the car out of fear. Jesus also tries his best to describe the other person that was there that night. He, he had a mask. Like those masks you find in the stores. Oh, right. Those types of masks. Oddly enough, they found Sriracha's keys and pocket knife and spent the next hour combing the area until apparently it became the middle of the night. Jesus decides to come out with it and tell Carlos that the night Sriracha died, the teens wanted to scare people by wearing masks. And for whatever reason, Jesus got angry and killed Sriracha. After admitting to what he did, they are both ambushed by a masked man who chokes out Jesus. This mysterious person goes out of his way to kill Carlos as well and reveals himself to be Sirach. Twist! Sirach does an evil laugh for the camera and the end credits roll on in. Thus concluding this short film. Now I gotta be honest with you for this review that normally I have a bit of a personal rule when it comes to short films made by high school students and other amateur filmmakers where I tend to be a lot more lenient in comparison to some of the, in my rating system in comparison to some of the others uh, high-end budgeted uh, web shows or short films that I usually review but, ju but just because I'm lenient doesn't mean I'm also a very very nice about it. I gotta keep it as fair as I can as an internet critic and as an internet critic for, who sees this for it is it's honestly not that very good and uh, I just wanted to say that the, the filming of it could have been done a little bit better in post-production mostly with the uh, the timing, the editing. If they happen to spend a little bit more time in post-production either with whatever editing 
uh, program that they have, they could easily remove a couple of things and also replace it with some better sound effects and music. The music was okay, a little bit of a stock footage here and there. But at the same time, I would have to say that the, the acting does need to be trimmed up a little bit better. Mostly, it mostly needs to be repeated a few more times. Kind of look like they all said every, done everything with one take. Which, when it comes to acting, you need to do multiple takes in order to do a much better role with the character itself, if you ask me. And for as it stands right now, it's an okay flick. It's free on YouTube, so there's really no punishment in it or suffering. There's a lot more terrible short films out there at amateur levels, but for what it stands, I would have to give it a 2 out of 5 stars. And uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quickie little review. Uh, I plan on doing a lot more of these reviews, and as a matter of fact, as I'm wrapping up this video right now, I'm going to be posting another poll on my Twitter page, if you guys happen to find it. It will be up for about a week after I upload this video, where you guys will have three selections to vote from as to what the next short film I should review for October. I'd like to give you guys plenty of time, which is why I decided to keep this poll up for a week on Twitter. If you, so you guys have plenty of time, I'll provide full video links in the following uh, tweets in the below the polls as well, so you guys can view them yourselves and vote, vote on them. That's usually my uh, takeaway when it comes to these roulette uh, wheel polls. As one short film is voted on and I review it, I usually remove that one and replace it with another one. So that's pretty much how I do the gist of it on Twitter. I guess my only mistake would be that I usually post them up at random and whoever follows me on a religious basis usually votes on that day. So I'm going to change things up a bit and you post them at the end of this uh, video review so you guys have plenty of time to actually go to my Twitter uh, page to actually look at the pinned tweet and vote on what short film you'd like. So I just wanted to let, let you all know about that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. Uh, sorry for this to be a little bit short and a little bit more quick. Uh, the next review, of course, will be back to my regular routine back at home where it's nice and safe and comfy and quite warm, unlike here, which is very windy and really hot. But yeah, with that said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time on the BoopTube.